Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today is Friday and I have a kind of exciting Friday but also a kind of like meh, like mundane. The mundane tasks that I have to do on Friday. So I'm on my way headed to Walmart and then I'm gonna go to Publix because between the two they have like the best sales. Like I've been looking, I've actually been looking at Food Lion Publix and then like I just get most of my groceries some of you have said that Aldi like try going to Aldi I personally have found for everything that I personally buy it's just cheaper to do the buy one get one free sales or Walmart like Walmart to me is cheaper than Aldi and most of the things especially the things that I buy so I really just don't even bother going to Aldi I was thinking about going and then I was looking at my list of things that I want to get. And like half of this stuff is Walmart stuff. And it's the stuff that I really like that's not going to be at Aldi. So like the lavish bread, that's not going to be there. They'll probably have cottage cheese, but I really only like the cottage cheese from Walmart. They're not going to have pizza dough. They're not going to have the Bob Evans mac and cheese. They'll have bananas and tomatoes and onions, but is it going to be worth it? You know, they're not going to have my green giant cauliflower medley that I like to get for my sushi bowls. Like there's just a lot of stuff that they don't have. So I'm just going to stick to going to two grocery stores today. So Walmart, Publix, oil change, go back home, put on makeup, film, in the middle of all that, do laundry, and then tonight at 7, I have this hip-hop step class that I'm going to, which I am so incredibly excited for. The gym is called, or the brand, I guess you would call it the brand. They're, I found them on Instagram. They're called Club, Club Cardio NC. Go follow them on Instagram. Go see how much fun their classes are. Go check out White Chocolate. He is fine. Like, the way that that man moves, ooh! Um, but yeah, one day I would love to make a class in Raleigh, because they're in Raleigh, but they're here in Charlotte tonight. So I've got to, I got a ticket, and I'm going to go. And I'm so incredibly excited, because their classes look like so much fun and it's been a minute since I've had a lot of fun so that's what's on the agenda today when I get home I will show you guys a grocery haul and yeah that'll do it for today it's a busy 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 day but most of it's not vloggable because like me doing laundry is not vloggable and I need my camera to film so that's not vloggable either <laughs> so yeah I will see you guys later on I would like to interrupt this broadcast to show you this week's sponsor. I want to say a huge thank you to Magellan for sponsoring this portion of this week's vlog. I am so excited to tell you guys about this. This is a tight skin tightening machine, literally in the shape of an iron, which I don't have by the way. I know, I need to get one. Um, but this, what this does is it lifts, brightens, and tightens skin. It removes cellulite, wrinkles, and lines. Now, like I was telling you, with any tightening kind of device, as long as you are consistent with it, any hair removal device, as long as you're consistent with it, you will see re results. You guys remember when I did the facial machine you saw immediate results now with this one with reducing cellulite and fine lines and wrinkles and tightening up your stomach and tummy area you're obviously not going to see it immediate but you will over time see results i did research on these devices and professional like people go and get this professionally done in their stomach you can do it in your arm area, wherever you have cellulite, on your butt, on your legs. But remember, like I said, as with everything, you have to be consistent because if you're not consistent, it's not gonna work. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you this a little bit. And this right here is the gel. 
you want to make sure that you use the gel beforehand. You also want to make sure, I'm going to show the tummy today. I'm going to show the stomach today, but you want to make sure that you go ahead and clean off your stomach, make sure there's no oils, no lotions, none of that stuff. And then if you're going to use, if you're going to use the RF, EMS, and red light function, then you want to make sure that you also shave any kind of areas in which you have. So this is a non-invasive at-home skincare device and it works with red LED light therapy, microcurrent EMS, and radio frequency RF. The thermal technology to provide an all-around skin health and body contouring solution for over-the-counter cosmetic use. Now the RF treatment generates heat into the deep tissue and stimulates collagen production to reduce the appearance of loose skin and cellulite. The RF waves target and heat the fat cells collecting beneath the skin, causing them to break down. They are then absorbed by the lymphatic system and naturally disposed of by providing heat energy up to 7 mm below the skin surface. This frequency helps the body to eliminate fat cells altogether, thus reducing cellulite levels. For the EMS mode, which is the electric muscle stimulation, the microcurrent works by mimicking and gently accelerating the normal cell activity of skin, which can slow down with age. Oxygen is more easily absorbed, damaged tissue is repaired, and collagen production is increased. Now with the red light therapy, it is suitable for any type of skin. It can penetrate 8 to 10 millimeters into skin with mild wavelength and reach derma to stimulate fiber cells and then generate heat to improve blood circulation and collagen hyperplasia to reduce wrinkles and make skin more elastic and smooth. It is recommended that you use this for 20 minutes every three to four days. Now there are three mode selections and each of them go up to level nine. There is the RF mode, there is the EMS mode, and there's the RF and EMS mode. And the red light therapy is always working under each mode. So with the RF and red light, it generates heat directly to the bottom of the skin. The collagen fibers in the dermis will shrink immediately and the simulated dermal collagen will proliferate to achieve the purpose of skin tightening and wrinkle removal. With the EMS and red light, it stimulates, contract, and relaxes muscles through electric wave. It can reach the fat layer directly to accelerate the movement of fat cells and discharge excess fat and toxins to achieve the effect of dissolving fat and enhance skin elasticity. And with the RF and EMS and red light feature, you maximize the energy types at the same time to treat different body parts like the upper arm, the belly, the waist, thighs, butt, with the effect of reducing wrinkles and stretch marks caused by aging or after pregnancy and weight loss. So some ideas of treatment areas, you can use it on the arm, you can use it on the abdomen and waist, you can use it on your whole back, you can use it on your thighs, your butt. Okay, so I use it on number two. You could definitely feel just vibrations. It wasn't painful at all, but with these machines, you definitely wanna start lower and then as you build your tolerance to them, you wanna go higher. But you always wanna make sure that you have gel on your, whatever area of your body that you're wanting, that you're, that you're using this on, you wanna make sure that there's gel on there. So you saw me a couple of times, it was kind of tugging. You do not want the machine to tug whatsoever. So a couple of times it felt like it was tugging, so I was like, okay, I need to get more gel. So the gel is included with the device. And as always, it's going to be linked down below in the description box. And you can use coupon code GREEN10 to save 10% off. All of the things I just told you is going to be down below in the description box. So you guys don't have to remember any of that. It's just all going to be linked down below. But I do want to say a huge thank you to Magellan for partnering with me on this portion of this week's vlog. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get back into this vlog. Why am I zoomed in? I was zoomed in the whole time, y'all. It's okay. I am back. I'm going to show you everything I got. And then I'm gonna show you how much I spent. Whenever I get towards the receipt, I'm gonna show you what I spent. So from Walmart, I wanna make sushi bowls. And I know it would've been cheaper for me to just get the big bag, but it would've went bad. I wouldn't have went through it. So to me, this is the cheaper way to go. So these are a dollar a piece. And I'll have one crab stick snacker 
thing per sushi bowl because I'll have two sushi bowls. Got biscuit, uh, biscuits, I'm going to do This, this weekend, I'm gonna do breakfast sandwiches, like biscuit, like almost kind of like Chick-fil-A-esque using the Real Good Foods chicken, which I have in the freezer, and then those and a piece of cheese. So I'm really excited for those. This is the pizza dough that I get for the kids. I am still making my two ingredient dough, which is delish, delish. Got two of these because I'm gonna have this for my lunches next week. I'm gonna prep that probably tomorrow. This stuff is so good. I ran out of toilet bowl cleaner, so I got this. This is just the great value toilet bowl cleaner with bleach, so I got that. And then Contrell needed some body wash. I really need to stop buying this for him. This was $9 and I could buy him soap that's way cheaper, but I just wanted to go ahead and just get it one more time. It is $9. I could have spent less and I should have. As I was walking out, I was like, I shouldn't have got that for him. I should have gotten something else. But anyways, I digress. This, I take vitamin D every day. I want to make sure I got the right one. 50, yep, perfect. So, yeah, I'm almost out. So let me go ahead and just put that right in there. Put it up while I'm there. So I got that. Needed some napkins. So got those. And then lavish bread. These are freaking amazing. You can do so many things with these. I made, this week, I made chicken salad wraps with chicken and a little bit of Duke's light mayonnaise, some cranberries. You could cut up some apples and do some almonds in there. I just did cranberries and green onions. So good. And then I also topped it with some green leaf lettuce and I put this in the air fryer for like five, six minutes, let it crisp up, so good. This weekend, I'm gonna be doing the viral grinder sub. I've shown you guys that recipe before. I do it in a way where it's lay way less calories. Do I have enough pe pepperoni for that and pizza tonight? I hope so. I didn't think about that because I usually put pepperoni on it too. But um, yeah, I'm doing the grinder sub. Budget shopping again. I usually get the extra virgin olive oil. Even the great value brand was double the price of this. So I was like, we're gonna go with this. I know. Olive oil is supposed to be better for you, but we gotta pick and choose, pick and choose. So that one, that one is just gonna be, I guess, less healthy. I don't think any of these are healthy, honestly, because they all have, every time I spray it, it's like a cloud of stuff. But anyways, Parmesan cheese, we go through this like crazy. I needed some salt, so I ran out. And I have been eating rice like crazy, me and the kids. So I actually ran out of rice. I was like, I don't think this has ever happened. Got some bananas a red onion and I think this is called a beef steak tomato or just a uh, tomato this is gonna be for my grinder sub and so is this this is for my sushi bowl I love these so I love to mix this entire bag which is only like 75 calories and it's so high volume and I also like to mix it with my rice Delish, and I have shrimp in the freezer already. So got two of those because I'm gonna have sushi bowls twice this week. This is for my viral grinder sub. So some, this is expensive. This is like $3. I could have gotten my own head of lettuce, but I feel like the other day I was looking at heads of lettuce and I was like, that's expensive too. So I just went ahead and got this. Cottage cheese, I just got the smaller tub because I don't go through it a ton. But I'm gonna, I like to mix it sometimes with my pasta. If I'm not gonna have meat with it, I'll just do pasta and then this ups the protein. So I will mix it in with my pasta sauce and then do a little bit of pasta water and it's delish. This is going to be for my grinder sub. I love this turkey breast. It's expensive as hell though. This was $5 in itself. Um, and then the sliced mozzarella will be on there as well. So that was everything from Walmart and I spent $74.41. And then from Publix, I got, these were buy one gluten free. So I freaking love these. So this is gonna be my lunch next week. I'm so excited. So one of these and then some kind of portion of this, I'm gonna have to go through my meal plan and see how it all works out because this is fat and this has fat in it too. So we're gonna have to work that out. But 
yeah, so this can't just be my carb source. I'm gonna have to count it as a carb and a fat or two, so. Um, this right here is, they're delicious. They're so delicious. I used to eat these all the freaking time. And I'm just gonna have this, mac and cheese, and a veggie. So I have broccoli in the freezer, and then I also have canned green beans and also canned carrots in the, in the pantry. So broccoli and cheese, chicken corn on blue. This one I wanted to get two of, but this one only has 19 grams of protein, so I was like, mm. I'm gonna get the chicken corn on blue twice because that one has the most protein. So I got two chicken corn on blue and then the creme, creme brie, is that what the, how you pronounce that? Brie and apple, but this says it's filled with brie, cheddar and mozzarella cheeses, sliced apples and cranberries. This one is gonna be so freaking good. And then I spent, $18.65 at Publix and I got two things of strawberries. They were buy one get one free. When I was walking, I saw that these were buy one get one free and my kids love these Nikot, so I bought those for them too. And even with buying those, I still only spent $18.65. So that was pretty damn good. So yeah, that is everything. Let's add that up together. What's $18.65 plus $74.41? Hmm, Girl, you? She has been driving me nuts lately. Hold on. Where is my phone at? Oh, it's in my it's in my hoodie pocket, y'all. I bet Siri will find out and know rude what is $74.41 plus $18.65 it's $93.06 $93 that's pretty dang good because I spent less than $100 this week although last week was a higher week so that's that I will see you guys tonight when I go to my hip-hop step class that I'm so excited for all right, we are about to go. I'm not gonna vlog in the car because it is raining and it is dark and I do not want any distractions. I am nervous. I was actually supposed to go with someone. They weren't there, I was gonna meet them up there and she has COVID. So I am going solo and I wasn't intending to go solo. And if she didn't have COVID and if we didn't buy our tickets at the same time, I would not be going to this. So, everything happens for a reason, right? Everything happens for a reason. We are on the way. I will try to get some footage for you guys, but if not, know that this is a really hard thing for me to do. Yeah. Let's try one more time for music. And then we'll get to my favorite part of class, Calvary. Okay, this is not a flattering angle at all, and I wish I would have gotten a better view of me and <laughs> what I was doing, but I just was so nervous. I was like, let me set my phone up and let me hit record real quick and just not even, girl, I need to, I need to be less nervous and anxious when I'm filming in public because the... The people that came to this, the, the leaders that were leading this class, they have like over 200,000 followers on Instagram and they were filming the entire, most of the time. Um, you can go to their uh, Instagram actually, it is Club Cardio NC on Instagram and you can see this full dance and you can peep me in the back. But yeah, I need to stop being so anxious. This is me just like setting it up. And I was like, oh my gosh, but I need to stop being that way. But one step at a time, one thing at a time, I'm just glad that I went and I had a good time and I was getting it. Yeah, girl. I don't know if y'all can see me, but I am drenched. That was so freaking fast. I got some footage, but it was just on my feet. And oh my gosh. I got some of it and then I wouldn't get it and then I would get it, but wow, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Um, definitely not your normal. Do you guys remember step aerobics back in the day? Definitely not <laughs> what this is. Whew. 
I am sweating. I'm drenched. But I had a lot of fun. Um, it was really cool. I do wish that my, my friend could have came with me, but they said that they're going to be here every week. And I doubt I'll make every week. I know I won't make every, every Friday, but they're coming again March 22nd. So I'll probably come again. So we'll see. And maybe she'll be able to come. But yeah, it was fun. It was very intense. My knees are hurting a little bit. So yeah, there was, there was a lot of very, very fast. It was move, get out the way. I don't even know what that's called. <laughs> My Luda. <sighs> Anyways, I gotta go home. I could not, y'all, these roads, you cannot see. Hold on, I gotta turn the, cause I gotta get the deep, the, this defrosted. But I cannot see the roads. Like I cannot tell where the actual lanes are because all I could see was just like gloss. The lanes just are not properly, the roads are not properly marked out with the white line and then the reflectors. Ooh, girl, pray for me getting back because I was fine on the interstate. But once I got onto this street, I was like, where's the road? Where's my lane? Girl. Anyways, I'm going to make it. That was fun. That was a really fun Friday night activity. So I'm excited and I'm glad that I went. I will see you guys when I get home or probably tomorrow. I'm going to yoga class tomorrow. I'm excited for that too. Girl, that junk was hard. Oh my goodness. I'm going to be so like, okay, so the I didn't take it last Saturday because I took a dance class, but the Saturday before I took, and I was literally sore, like my abs and my shoulders were sore for days. And I have a feeling. <laughs> that my whole entire body is gonna be sore. Plus, in addition to last night, you wouldn't think stepping up on a step that's like this high would would really work your legs that much, but last night my legs were so sore. And when I woke up this morning, I was like, oh my goodness. So I thought that March 1st was the day in 2017 that I left my ex, but actually it is March 2nd. So this day, seven years ago, I changed my life and my kid's life forever. And it was the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Seven years ago, I made the decision that was gonna change my life forever. And I'm so glad that I made that decision to leave my ex. I had to pack up an entire four bedroom house. I will never forget that day as long as I live. I had to wait until my ex left husband at the time and then I had to wait until my kids I took them to school and as soon as I got back I just started right to it and as soon as them movers came I was tying that last bag in my closet I did it though I did it I left his ass <laughs> I still can't believe that and smoke quitting smoking those are two things that I've done in my life I never thought that I would do ever and I'm so proud of that I did both. And now that I am working on my eating as well, I'm gonna do this too. And I'm gonna change my life. Like really change it. Like financially, the people that are gonna be in my life are gonna be like people I've never experienced before. My future husband is gonna be the kind of love that I've never experienced before. And I'm gonna sit there and be like, it was worth it every single tear, hardship, f amount of fear, it's all gonna be so worth it. And I know it is because I'm gonna have amazing friends that are not gonna be toxic and I'm going to have an amazing husband and my kids are gonna have amazing spouses and amazing dating lives. I'm, I'm believing it and yeah I had a share all right I'll see you guys later on I am so freaking tired I've been working 
all day. So I'm ready to go to bed. So I got Contrell's permission to share this amazing, wonderful video with you guys. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> Um, he got baptized on Sunday and I am just so proud of the young man that he is becoming. Y'all, I cannot believe my son is about to be 18 years old. Ugh, this is just such a precious memory moment for him and for me, um, mainly for him. Uh, he's been baptized before, but he really just wanted to truly dedicate his life and, um, claim Jesus as his Lord and Savior. And this was just such a beautiful moment for him and his friends were there supporting him and we were there supporting him, me and, me and Ava and um, some friends that we had uh, known in Augusta that we reconnected with here in Charlotte. It was just a beautiful moment. So he gave me permission to share this and um, just so, uh, I'm just so happy for him. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed me sharing this moment of uh, something very intimate in our lives and look at my young man. So we are at Aldi and what I want to do, because I was telling you guys earlier that I feel like Walmart is cheaper than Aldi. So what I'm going to do is I need to go get some canned vegetables, some frozen vegetables, and then some milk. And I'm going to price point these things at Aldi versus what they are in my Walmart app. And I'm going to put on the screen what they are at Walmart versus Aldi and what I would have paid for or spent at Walmart versus Aldi. And then also I still got to go to Walmart anyways. And this was my, this was my whole thing is because I get this specific garlic butter that I can almost guarantee they're not going to have here at Aldi. It, I, they may have some form of it. And if they do, then I'll pick it up. But if not, then I still have to go to Walmart anyways. So if like everything is like literally just like a few cents cheaper or right around the same, it's just easier for me to just go to Walmart, but we're going to test it out because Again, your girl's on a budget and we trying to we trying to pay the least amount for groceries that we can pay. So let's go and get into Aldi. Don't forget our quarter because we've got to make sure we have that. And I've got it. Let's go. Okay, so hamburger buns are $1.09. I think that's cheaper, but for sure. The Aldi bread is only 50 cents, so that's definitely cheaper. This for sure is cheaper at $2.99. I think it's like $4, but I also think that these bags are a lot smaller than the Walmart bag. So I'm gonna get it from Walmart actually, since I'm already going. This is two pounds, and I think the one from Walmart is three pounds. So I'm actually gonna do some calculations and see. The Walmart is $1.66 a pound, and here it's $1.50 a pound, but I'm gonna go and get them from Walmart instead because I want more and I'm willing to pay like the few cents more for like the extra pound because I don't want to get four pounds and spend six dollars, so. Milk is two fifty six dollars here at Walmart. It's two fifty seven. dollars but every single time I've ever bought milk from Aldi, I feel like it hasn't last, lasted, so I'm getting it from Walmart and it's only going to be a penny more, a penny more. They do not have my garlic and herb butter that I normally get like at all, like not even a version of it. So again, I got to go to Walmart anyways. For 12 ounces of frozen broccoli here, it is $1.09, and at Walmart, it's $1.16. So you're saving a tiny bit with the broccoli. $1.42 at Walmart, and here, they're $1.39. So you're only saving a few cents by getting them here. For cans of vegetables, 64 cents at Walmart, 63 cents here. So I'm just gonna get them at Walmart. Walmart. I am gonna go ahead and get these frozen vegetables but honestly I don't think I'll be back here okay so we left with nothing the line was entirely too long and they only had one cashier so Aldi is a big fat flop for me and hold on let me tell you all something when I get in the car so look I feel like if I'm going in there for produce like some of their produce is cheaper the one the stuff that's on sale however I have always felt all these produce goes bad way quicker than any other produce so what i have found is working best for me 
is going to Walmart for all of my essentials and staples. And then when it comes to like things like chicken or ground beef or anything like that, wait until it's on sale. Like Kroger, uh, not Kroger, but Food Lion will run buy one gluten free or $1.99 a pound for chicken breast. And so on those days or those weeks, I will go and I will stock up. And my freezer right now has two things of chicken because I bought it buy one, get one free. Um, Publix has lots of buy one, get one free sales. So like for the kids and their snacks and treats, I will get all their stuff buy one, get one free at Publix. So I have really found for me, that is the best way to do it. But yeah, those of you that are shopping Aldi, how are you saving money? Because there are people that swear by Aldi. My parents even swear by Aldi, but I'm like, if I have to still go, oh, thank you. If I have to still go to Walmart because I can't get everything that I get from here anyways, and I have to go to two different stores, I would rather just do that anyways like I am instead of going having to go to three different stores to save a few pennies because essentially that's all I would have been saving today was just a few pennies and it wasn't worth sitting there waiting for them because all the people in front of us plus you also have to you know you also have to like take use your own bags and stuff which is fine because I have my own bags but I don't know that's just my two cents and uh happy Monday I will we are on our way to Walmart and I'm not gonna show you a haul when I get home because it's literally just milk and frozen broccoli and frozen Brussels sprouts and that's about it so see you guys later okay so I did all the calculations as you can see with the bread which I was not buying I just wanted to price match or check the price and see how much it was at Aldi I would have spent $14.62 at Aldi this is before tax and at Walmart I would have paid $16.49 so that's a dollar 87 difference again to me going to three different stores to save a little under two dollars just isn't worth it now if it was fifteen dollars girl yes you best believe I'm going but two dollars mm, I don't know and then as you can see everything that I actually purchased the vegetables and the apples I would have paid thirteen oh seven getting it from Aldi and then $13.61 getting it from Walmart. So that's only a difference of 54 cents. So again, if you are shopping at Aldi and you are saying that it is cheaper than Walmart, what are you buying that is cheaper, that makes it worth it for you to go to Aldi versus going to Walmart? Because like I was saying in this video, I still have to go to Walmart to get certain things that Aldi does not have. Now, if Aldi was a place I could go to where it was a one-stop shop, then maybe saving $1.87 or 54 cents would be worth it for me. But you're spending that in gas almost kind of if you're having to go to, you know, I'm already going to two different stores as is. So having to go to three different stores, that to me is just a little excessive. I don't know. But let me know your comments, suggestions, and your opinions on this and what you would do. Like, what do you do when it comes to grocery shopping? Because your girl's trying to spend less money in the grocery department. And whew, I swear every time I try, it's just, you know, like with, I went grocery shopping, y'all saw me. I went to Publix and I went to Walmart. And then I had to go to Walmart again. <laughs> and then I'm like, here I am having to go. It's Thursday and I have to go again. So it's just... I'm, I'm at the store a lot and, and it's groceries are, are very expensive. We all know this. Y'all, we are going to, I think it's called Puzzles and Praise. So we're, all three of us are going. I'm so excited. I get to spend time with my babies too. But, uh, well, Kentrell was actually the one who wanted to go because he's, he loves puzzles. And then I was like, oh, you go. And then he was like, well, can you come with me? And I was like, you know what? Yes, I can. So that's at 6.30. So... I might vlog a little bit. Again, I'm not much of a puzzle person. I'm like, can I put together like a kindergarten puzzle? Is Do you think they'll have those available? Because <laughs> that's that's my level of doing puzzles. Um, but yeah, he's like, he loves, y'all know, I think you've, 
our old table, he used to take it up because we never sat at that table and he would just, that was his puzzle table. Now he's kind of sad because he doesn't have a puzzle table. And I told him, just get cardboard. Like I get boxes here all the time. Just put them one next to another and you'll have it, you can have it on your floor. And he, he it's not good enough for him. So I get it. it would, that's a hard kind of position to be in. But anyways, uh, we had a great walk. I so needed that. I was telling him like when we were on our way, I was just like, I'm frustrated, I'm irritable, I am just feeling icky. And I was like, I, in my head, I was like, I need to do some cardio. Because I haven't, I, well, I mean, I did cardio a little bit on Friday. But since it was that step class, there was a lot, it wasn't like straight through cardio. Because we had to learn the routine first. And you know, when you're learning something, it's like you're doing it and then it's like, okay. And then you do like a couple of steps at a time. So it's not the cardio that my brain is used to. And then Saturday I went to the yoga class and that's not cardio at all. And then yesterday is just a rest day. So I really needed that. Like probably we walked for 30 minutes, but probably like 15 to 20 minutes into that walk, I looked at him and I said, I feel so much better. And I was telling him, I said, please always make time for exercise because it is so important for your mental health, 100%. Um, and I just feel so much better. And then we just ran a couple of errands and um, I'm about to work and the kids are about to go down to the gym. Um, but yeah, I just had to come update you guys and I will see you guys later. I have to tell y'all about this book that I read. I could not put it down. I would wake up and I would think about this book. I would go during the day, I would think about this book. I was reading it while I was eating lunch. I was reading it every free second I had. One time I even went down to the treadmill and I'm not a big walk and read person, but I could not get enough of this book. So I was reading it off my phone on the treadmill one day. It is called The Teacher by Frida McFadden. You, you already know. You already know. Girl! This book is so freaking good. Y'all need to read it. So good. So good. I could not put my... I didn't want to put it down. I did not want to put it down. It was so good. This just came out in February of this year. And it already has 34,409 reviews. And it, it it's like four in it. It's, it looks like it's basically almost, it's 4.3 it is what it says. 4.3 stars. This book is so freaking good. Y'all have to read this book. And currently what I'm reading, I was just like, I did not want that book to end. Oh, it was so good. I am now reading Do Not Disturb by also Frida McFadden. And this this seems really good too. So I just wanted to share real quick with you guys what it is that I'm reading. Um, I woke up this morning and I saw my Kindle right there by my right there by me and I was like I picked it up immediately and started reading and I read for like an hour or something. I'm like I just started this book and I'm already on page. I think it's like close to 100. Like it this this book is really good too. Let me see. Yeah, I'm already so it's page 74. Um, but yeah, chapter 10. Like, I freaking love Frida McFadden books. They're so good. And the teacher, y'all need to go read it. I don't want to, I don't even want to talk about what it's about. If you are a reader, go read it and then thank me later because it is so freaking good. It's so good. There are so many twists and turns. Like some of the book, I was like, okay, I feel like I know where this is going, but no, like I only, and then the very ending, it was like, there's so many questions I have. Oh, I would love for you guys to read that book. Those of you that are member, that channel members, I would love for you guys to read that book. And then for us to discuss our thoughts on the very end 
and the questions because I know when you read the book you're gonna have questions too and I can't talk about the book and I can't talk about the questions that I have without spoiling it for you guys so those of you that are channel members if you are readers and you want to read that book that's what our first live live stream can be about because I can talk about that book for hours like it was so good oh I haven't read a book that good in a minute Oh, it was so good. Okay, I gotta get back to work for real. My computer's right there. So I just came back from the little puzzle small group and we had so much fun. Okay, so I'm not a puzzle girl, puzzle girly, okay? But I try and I did, how many pieces were those? I think they were like 49, probably like 20. Girl, I don't know. I'll show you the pictures of the puzzles that I put together. But there was also this little girl, she was in sixth grade and she was helping me she was doing better than I was. I'm not a puzzle girly. But Contrell wanted to go, and I was like, it's a really great way for us to connect and get to know more people and stuff like that. So it was a lot of fun. And I put together three puzzles with the little girl. <laughs> she helped. And then, um, then I started coloring. So it was fun, though. We were talking and chatting and getting to know other people. So it was a lot of fun. And next Monday, there is a game night with another small group that I joined. And it's a couple that I have already met several times and they seem like so much fun. Um, they're actually going to a car show this Saturday as well. And I kind of want to go, but it's so early. It's so early. And then I also have my dance class this Saturday too. So, which the dance class doesn't start until 11.15. So I could totally meet them. But I don't know. But they are, they are a lot of fun. And I, they were at the finance class that I went to last week. And they are just amazing. They're just so amazing. Uh, the, the woman, she was in the yoga class I was in too. And she's just so sweet. So I'm really excited to do that next next Monday too. And the kids, the kids had a lot of fun too. They really enjoyed it too. So I'm like, if we can go have fun and like spend time together too, and then like also get to know we get to know other people, I'm so here for all of it. So yeah, it was a really, really, really good time. And uh, I will stick to my 50 piece puzzles. <laughs> Control literally did. He almost, he was this close to finishing a 550 piece puzzle. He's so talented when it comes to puzzles. Um, but he almost finished that in two hours. He didn't want to stop. And I was like, we got to go. We got to go. Like everyone's cleaning up and they're definitely ready to go. So um, don't want to overstay our welcome. But yeah, he, he did a great job and he was so close. He's like me when I'm, when you're that close to finishing something, you just don't want to stop. So I know how he was feeling, but I was like, we gotta go. So anyways, that's, that's that. I have nothing planned for tomorrow. Um, did, did me and the kids, were we supposed to do something? We're going to the gym. That's not vloggable. I'm telling you. In order to make a work, weight loss journey work for you, you have to find things that are good substitutes. Like, I have found these chicken nuggets. They're called, the brand is Real Good Foods. And they're these chicken nuggets that have amazing macros. And then I will buy the Panda Express orange sauce. Me and the kids have orange chicken we could probably eat it several times a week, but we we have we d we have it once a week. <laughs> but every week I'm like, are y'all tired of this yet? And they're like, no, we will never get tired of this. And I just make it with rice, put green onion on top, and broccoli on the side, and it's so good. And I was thinking yesterday as I was eating it, I was like, I don't even miss Chinese food. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and try these smart sweets. Mmm, they smell really good. I am all about a gummy, especially. These are great to take to the movies. These are great if you're having a movie night at home. If your kids are eating real candy. I don't, let's, real, this is real candy. If your kids are eating 
gummy worms that aren't smart sweets and only four grams of sugar because this whole entire bag only has four grams of sugar in it. Mm, it's female founded too. Oh, these things are good. Oh, hoo -hoo. Mm, 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 mm. girl. Oh, these are amazing. Oh, these are. Mm. Does Target sell these? Oh, wow. I love stuff like this because it just. Oh, I put. Golly, these are freaking good. I will link these down below. I'm sure Amazon has a big pack. I bought a big pack of the of the uh, peach rings. Girl, these are good. And for the whole pack, you, uh, 110 calories. I've eaten, I don't know, like three or four. Look at how many I still have left in the bag. Oh, you are not getting away. Hold on. Like you're in, okay, pop you some popcorn. I've done this many times and I do not feel like, I feel so satisfied. So I pop some popcorn in the microwave. It's just plain. And then I take 12 grams of butter because the thing is like, it's less than 100 calories. And I will do that and I'll add some salt. So good. And then I will have a bag of Smart Sweets. Take that to the movies. Well, I don't know. You probably, yeah, you could probably take Girl, take the popcorn in a baggie, in a gallon size baggie. I'm doing that the next time I have a movie night, like uh, out. I do that when I'm here. These are freaking good. Now I will say, obviously, as with everything that's like healthier for you, it's way more expensive. However, these are good. And I don't eat them every day, but when I have a craving for something gummy oh yes because i love me some gummies so you can get a pack of 12 for 28.49 on amazon so i will link these down below you cannot beat these macros like are you serious and they taste so good like i said the peach rings very delicious i did not know they had gummy bears they also have gummy bears 110 calories for the whole entire look at this wow both piles have the same amount of sugar so this is smart sweets yeah let's go ahead this is smart sweets and this is gummy bears like regular gummy bears so only two wow these are freaking incredible they're incredible movie night Girl. They showed on their Instagram that they had like Easter candy, but I don't see it anywhere. Hmm. I wonder if they have a, the, their own website. Yeah, here they are. New berry bunnies and tropical eggs. 92% less sugar. I'm just continuing to say the same thing over and over again. But seriously, I've been sitting here eating these for a minute. And I still have this many left. Look how pretty they are. Wow. All right, smart sweets. You look expensive as hell, but... If you're craving some gummies, these are going to do the trick. 100%. I thought the peach rings we're doing the trick these these are good because the the fruit the peach rings aren't as they aren't as gummy as these are these are so incredible okay i'm gonna finish these i'm gonna eat my apple and i'm gonna go to bed i'll see y'all tomorrow it is wednesday and i had to show you guys this so smart sweets sent me a box full of goodies and I'm so excited and I wanted to share with you real quick. I'm so excited. They gave me some lollipops, which I'm excited to try. We have blue raspberry and watermelon. 
I really wish that they were this, like the circle. I really wish I could find lollipops. If you guys remember, was I vlogging that? Probably, maybe. I know I was for my weight loss channel a couple years ago. I was looking for suckers and I found some, but they were all flat and I wanted the suckers that were circular. Anyways, we have these. Oh my gosh, I love these. I will link these down below from Amazon. I have a pack right now that I got for, it was, I got a 12 pack from Amazon and I still have some. I think I'm on my last, my last bag. But they're also female founded, which is really cool. Y'all, like look at, listen to, there's a lot of them in here. There's a lot of little peach rings in here. 130 calories for this whole entire bag. 40 carbs, six grams of fiber, only three grams of sugar. My mouth is watering just thinking about it. These right here are caramels. They sent me two of these. 140 calories for the entire bag, seven grams of fat, 35 carbs, 15 grams of fiber. Here it is right here on this one. It says, how many net carbs? You've got 35 grams of total carbs, minus 15 grams of fiber, minus nine grams of allulose, and that equals 11 net carbs per bag. You can see that right there. I really wanna try these. Go follow me on my Instagram because I am going to do a taste test of all of these. I'm so freaking excited. I'm also excited for these cola gummies. I just love gummies in general. And let me tell you, I actually opened these gummy worms up last night. There were so many in the bag. I actually stopped eating them because I was like, oh, they're so good. Oh, these are so good. So good in fact that I, 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 I did not exercise, exercise self-control. I ordered a 12 pack from Amazon. So I will also link these down below. I did exercise self-control, however, though, because I also had the gummy bears in my cart and I was like, do I really need both? Let's just stick with one at a time. These are so freaking good. 110 calories. You have so many in the bag. Like I just kept eating, kept eating, kept eating. I still have one, two, three, four of them. Look at how they look. They smell delicious. They taste so good. Movie night, if you're going to the movies, pack your own popcorn, pop your own popcorn, put it in a gallon size bag, and then I promise you, you will not feel like you're missing out. Oh my gosh, these are so freaking good. Grab these little bags and put it in your, in your purse and take it with you to the movies or at a movie night at home. So, so, so good. So, I'm hoping that these are also good. It says improved freshness. I don't know what that means, but yeah, 130 calories for this entire bag. And then we also have Smart Sweets Jolly Gems Hard Candy. I'm gonna see what these look like. I wonder if these are kind of like, oh, okay. So there's like little discs. And for three of them, it's 60 calories, 14 carbs. Mm, this smells really good. I'm really excited. I'm not a huge Twizzlers fan, but I'm excited to try these. There are so many in here. I can feel how many there are. Oh my goodness. And this whole entire bag is 100 freaking calories. 17 net carbs per bag because you've got 40 total carbs, 12 grams of fiber, 11 grams of allulose. I'm excited to try those. Sour Melon Bites, 130 calories. Again, good bit in there. I got two of these, so I'm very excited to try those. I have tried these before and I know that I like them. They are delicious. You can easily find these and these and the peach rings. So these ones at Target. But I, find, I think that they're cheaper to buy them in bulk on Amazon. But this bag is 100 calories and again, 18 grams of fiber for the entire bag and they are Sour Blast Buddies. And then I had a conversation with one of you on Instagram. You were saying that these were nasty and I remember tasting them and I feel like I didn't love them either, but I'm excited to try them again. Uh, but for the whole bag of this, 130 calories, just again, there's so many. But I will say like, y'all, these freaking gummy worms. 
like they are so good like the texture is so, look at this texture is so good they're perfectly gummy they're not too hard if i don't know because i haven't had a gummy bear or gummy worm and i don't have one right here but i am willing to bet that i might not actually be able to tell the difference between an actual gummy worm with tons of sugar and calories in it versus one of these they are so freaking my mouth is watering because i want them but i haven't eaten lunch yet so i'm gonna no i need to go eat lunch there are so many of these y'all so many of them oh i'm so excited i'm so freaking thankful that they sent this to me and girl i hope that they sent me some more <laughs> they're so good their candy is so freaking good. I do love candy, and I love when you can get candy that tastes almost identical. Now, I will say the peach rings, I would not consider them to be identical to regular peach rings. They're not as gummy, and when you pull them apart, they're just not as, I don't know, I, I can't, they're just not as gummy but they do have that kind of like sugary coating on the, on the on the outside and they are so freaking good. So yeah, anyways, I wanted to share that with you guys. I'm gonna go eat real quick and then guess what I'm gonna do? You guessed it, I'm gonna work because <laughs> that's all I've been doing lately. Um, I was gonna go to Dollar Tree because I wanna get some puzzles because as I was doing the puzzles, I was thinking, and as I was talking to my therapist too, I was like, I need to add puzzles to my toolbox, 100%. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I am, uh, what would you what would you describe it? I guess working on my relationship with food and I'm finding things, coping tools that I can go to versus instead of going to food. So I have an entire basket, which I have an entire video all about my basket. I will link it down below. It's on my other channel. But that is 100% something that I'm going to add. And I was telling her how I was doing the puzzle because there was all this food there and everyone was eating. And I was a little tempted, but I just kept doing and I was a girl I was doing like a 48 48 y'all saw y'all saw because i vlogged about it in this in this video already but yeah it was like a 48 it was a tiny puzzle but i started thinking as i was talking to her i was like i was struggling with that and so i was like i need to i would like to get more and first initially i was talking about so i can bring it to because i'm going to keep going to the small group so i can bring it there and i can have a puzzle to do that i feel comfortable and confident but also that way, because I know that there's going to be food there every week. And I used to avoid these situations, but I'm not avoiding them anymore. I'm just finding ways to work around it. So being able to do those puzzles is a really great way to keep my mind off of like all the food that's going on and all the food that everyone's eating because I'm concentrating. But I'm also, again, still able to be active in conversation because I was, you know, talking, getting to know these women. And it was just a really, really, really great time. So I'm going to go to the dollar store probably tomorrow and i might have that in this vlog or the the video might end today i don't know if not it's gonna be a next vlog but i need to go there and then i also need egg beaters so i gotta go to walmart but yeah i'm gonna get puzzles because i i'm hoping that they have like i want something a little challenging so i'm looking for 100 piece puzzles and i looked on the dollar tree website and it does show that they have them, but obviously it's like one of those things where it's like you have to buy it in store, which obviously I'm not going to buy a bulk of puzzles, but I'm really hoping it's one of those things. I feel like I'm going to go from dollar store to dollar store to dollar store because A, I can do them at home and put them in my toolbox and B, I can bring them with me on Mondays. That way I have a puzzle that I can do because those other puzzles like that puzzle my son was working on that puzzle that my son was working on girl no way and the puzzle the, the other ladies were working on like a thousand plus piece puzzle i was like y'all i'm good I'm, I'm good with this 48 piece i'm over here struggling so yeah we can keep talking but um so anyways uh i'm gonna go ahead and go eat my lunch i will link the smart sweets down below and make sure i don't know when i'm gonna film the tiktok it's actually an instagram post so i don't know when i'm gonna film the reel but whenever I do, just go follow me over there and you guys can see my reaction to all of the things. And then eventually I'll come and tell you guys like what, how I would list all of the things in order of 
most delicious to not so great because I'm, I'm having I have a feeling that they're not going to be all oh my gosh so delicious that would be amazing if they were but anyways I'll see you guys later I have to show y'all my sushi bowl because it is impressive looking look at this I have cauliflower rice regular white rice shrimp crab meat green onion french fried onions and light yum yum sauce is that not amazing looking i'm gonna put you guys down this way so you can see it from how i'm looking at it it looks so good i cannot wait to eat this it's gonna be delicious i mean does this not look amazing girl i'm about to chow down and enjoy every single bite of this deliciousness. I have not had a sushi bowl in a minute, so I am looking forward to this.